Welcome to the MSc Management and Digital Business. This brief presentation will provide an induction to the whole program and outline some of the key information you need to know at the start of your course. So I'm the program leader. If you want to find out more about me, then you can go to the university website and look at staff profiles. Where you'll find various information about myself, my publications and the things I've done in my professional life. If you want to know more about the programme, you can look at the programme guide and other resources associated with the programme on the Canvas website. Here you'll find lots of information that will help you, videos about how the programme is structured, uh, there's a program delivery map, the various documents about the program guide to download, and a little video explaining the key dates with the program. Also, watch out for the announcements and the discussion section of the Canvas site, so I suggest that you have a look at this every week or so. You can access your timetable from the My LGMU website and by clicking on the icon My Timetable, you should be able to see the classes that you have for this coming semester and the next semester. On the screen, I've shown the current situation, though this is subject to change, and it shows that you do have classes in the first semester on the Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of each week, starting the 4th of October. Some of these classes you won't need to go to, uh, it will depend on which class you are allocated to, but you will always on Tuesdays have your management business research class, your management theory class with myself, and on Wednesdays you'll always have your digital business class, and Thursdays is for online classes, and they're shown here. But I'm shown two different uh, MBR1 classes, and you'll only go to one of those. You can download the academic calendar from the university website and it will show the different teaching weeks highlighted in orange on this diagram starting with week one and you'll note that in week one that's reserved for induction for your program and that your actual teaching starts in week two which will be on october the 4th tuesday october the 4th typically there are 12 weeks before christmas and then a further 11 or 12 weeks before the easter break starting in January. So this represents the two different semesters. If you're on the one-year programme, then after April you'll start your dissertation. If you're on the two-year programme, then after April you'll come back in September of the following year to do your advanced practice module. The calendar shows key dates, when the Christmas break is, when the Easter break is, when assessments are typically due, but I'll talk more about this shortly. On this slide, you can see the assessment timetable, though do bear in mind these dates are subject to change and you should stay in contact with your module leaders through their Canvas sites to look for any updates on these as we go through semester and the academic year. The timeline shown below shows each semester as part of the red line, then the blue square brick is the Christmas break followed by the Easter break and you can see the different assessments for each module in the square boxes numbered one through to uh, 11 along the line itself. You can also see dates of when the results will be published to you and you'll be notified of those. Uh, and as I say, you can see the actual dates of the assessment. So your first assessment will be on the 10th of November, which is the multiple choice test for the management theory module. We will be looking for a volunteer, maybe two people to act as course representatives for your cohort. So to represent you as a group of students. And this is an important role valued by me, other people in LJMU and other students alike. So what I'll be looking for you to do is think about whether you'd like to undertake this role. And if so, put your name forward to me by email over the next few days. Uh, and I will notify the class of who the different course representatives are. 
The main role will be to just listen to any feedback from students and relay this to staff. And we have two meetings each year called a board of study, one in semester one and one in semester two. And course representatives attend those meetings with academic staff and we discuss how the course is going and we'd love to hear feedback from you. And if we can, we act on it immediately. If not, we'll try and change things in the future. So a valued role and we look forward to one or two people volunteering to help with this this year. Throughout the year, if you do have any questions for me as the program leader, then you will see me every Tuesday in the management theory class, which I'll be taking. So please do ask me any questions then. You can also find me in my room occasionally in room 311 of the Redmonds building. And in semester two, I'll be taking a class with you called management practice. So there will be plenty of opportunity for you to put any questions to me that you have about the program itself. But there are lots of other people in the university that will also be available to help you. You'll have a personal tutor and your module leaders in particular. So if you have more specific questions, then you can direct those to the relevant person. That brings us to the end of this brief induction to the MSc Management and Digital Business Programme for 2022 into 23. And I look forward to seeing you in class.